further ado, let's have a goggle at the first solo release from Hugh from The Stranglers. It's um, a lot different to what we're used to seeing, but you make up your own mind. It's called One in a Million. It's very good, and check it out. You face me, embrace me, do I see? One in a million there from Hugh Cornwall, and he's right here, look. <laughs> well, just to reassure your fans, that's your new new solo project, One in a Million, but that doesn't mean the end of the Stranglers, right? Oh, God, no, no. We're, we're going back in the studio in two weeks to do a new album, which will be out next year. That's great news. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, don't worry, Stranglers fans out there. No, no, one off. One off. Yeah. But the one in, the mi one in a Million is um, a very melodic song. Is this the new direction that you're moving in? Um, well, we've always had melodic songs, it's just that sometimes they they get, um, the accent is on them and sometimes the accent isn't. In the late 70s the accent wasn't on um, melodic songs, because that's the way the record company decides to present, you know, the band. And um, at the moment melodic songs are getting a lot of um, a lot of attention, you know, over the last few years. The video the video is great. Was it hard work trying to find... Um a little girl who looked just like an, a little bit older. Yeah, yeah, that none of those girls are related, um, but it, uh, that was the director's problem. They spent a lot of time um, checking out uh, kids to see if they could. They got it had to really look like the girl had grown up from the, the young kids. So Is the song cool. inspired by a, a girl that you <coughs> know and watched growing up? No, it's inspired by a group of people um, that are very special, but. Um, it's it's a very uh, intricate, involved subject, and I won't go into it now. Maybe <laughs> later on. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> now, the Stranglers were born in um, the punk era, really. How do you see those days now? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, the, it's it was great times. Um, uh, to, have, to have been there and, and remember it. You know, you always remember, when you look back on things, you always uh, think of the, the, good, the good points mm -hmm. um, about a period or things that happened to you. And... Um, 
and there are a lot of great moments then. I mean, London in '77 was '76, '77 was a, an amazing place to be. It was, it was a really exciting place to be living and, and working, and I think everyone that was around then will say that. Yeah. So, would you go back? Um, well, why not recreate it? You know. <laughs> <Don't> know. <laughs> what do you think about re recreating what, the, the punk era? Yeah, the punk era. Uh, well, I had a good time. I did the first uh, yeah. session I did was on a punk single, so I won't complain. Well, Quite happy. It was a special time, you know, but I don't think it can, you can go back to it. But you know, the, the the attitude that punk rock had was was brilliant. You know, and, yeah. it, was a and it remains, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it's still is. Yeah, it does remain. It's still here. Mm. But another string to your bow, which a lot of people don't know about, is your acting career, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know much about it, about <laughs> it either. <laughs> um, That's not true. You've done quite a few things. Huh? Yeah, but it's all, uh, you, it's like anything. You have to serve an apprenticeship and you have to, you re rehearse out of the public eye uh, so that when you, that's the way you do rehearsals for things, so people try and get in to see rehearsals of the band when we're rehearsing. Mm -hmm. And you have to say, look, the reason why we're rehearsing is so that when we do actually play in public, we're going to be good. So it's rather like that, you know, at the moment. I'm just learning a, a craft, really. So your solo, um, your solo single, well, yeah. you're not going, are you doing a solo career now? Well, it's just a matter, matter of time. I had this song for about 18 months ago, mm -hmm. and the rest of the band didn't, didn't like it. We didn't think that, the, uh, together, we didn't think it was right for the, for the band to do. Um, but I liked the song, and a lot of people liked it, so uh, I decided I must record it at some stage. Well, someone who thinks you're really fantastic is... This girl here. Oh, my sister. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not. Can you say a quick hello and blow her a kiss? She asked you to blow a kiss. Janet Stan. <laughs> Janet Stan. Janet. It's Janet. Who comes from? This is very embarrassing. Janet. <laughs> I'm in one coming, a second 